Welcome everybody back to this awesome video tutorial where we are going to build this awesome machine learning website using Flask and Python programming language. We are going to make prediction on our Iris Flower dataset. As you could see, this is really responsive and it is working, of course. First of all, you need to install Flask module. For installing, you need to say pip install Flask. Mine is already installed, I'm gonna close it. Before starting anything, let me actually ex explain you some basics of Flask. First of all, we usually import Flask class from this already installed Flask module. As it's a class, so it will gonna have capital F in it. Then we create an instance of this Flask class which we have already imported. Then it expects an argument which is underscore underscore name. Now what usually it is, it, it is basically returns main if you are at python script. Whereas if you are using it or importing it any other python script then it will gonna return the name of that script. So it is basically that. Then, uh, then you would have seen this line so many times which is uh, this if underscore underscore name is equal to is equal to underscore underscore main as i already told you that if we're gonna return main if we are at current python script so in that we usually say app dot run which is the instance of this plus class and it contains a sub function called run and you would also have seen debug equals to true what did what it means that if we make any changes to this file, we do not need to rerun this Python script again and again. It will gonna automatically reload everything and we just have to need to press this refresh button. One more thing which you should know is at the rate app.route and it also expects a argument which is basically this slash basically this slash means if we are at current base directory of our web page as we as we are over here so in this we usually defines a function with any name whichever we want i'm going to name it like home and it returns something to us so for an example let me show you that if i return heading of h by saying h1 hello then if i run this app dot basics dot py so it will gonna return me this hello heading let me show you okay so if i refresh it you you can see over here it is hello all right now one more thing okay first of all if i write here like slash home and it will gonna automatically refresh as the debug is, is equals to true and if i refresh it it will gonna return me 404 error not found whereas if i put here slash home then i will get that output all right i hope that should be clear to you one more thing you would have seen is a render template which we re which we import from this Flask class. What happens? We instead of returning a line of code of HTML, we returns whole HTML file which resides in this templates folder, which is all in lowercase. So, as an example, I have this home dot HTML. Okay, let's run this first of all. Okay, over here. Finally, we got it. So, what happened? I am saying that return this whole HTML file instead of typing it over here. I have, I have wrote whole code in another HTML file and accessing it using render template. These are some basics which you should have, which you should know before jumping to create this website. Now you know these basics, let's jump into the folder structure, what folder structure should be. First of all, we have static folder in which our images resides, which we want to show to the end user. We have templates all in lowercase and over here we have our HTML files, which we want to show it to the user. 
we have a file called app.py you can name it any name you want uh, usually people uh, name it as app.py and in that our whole code resides which i have just shown you before then over here are my three files which is my machine learning model and my saved pickle model and my data set okay let's first see let's first build our machine learning model what is happening i am importing the pandas library for importing my data set i am importing numpy for creating arrays and all that stuff and i am importing pickle for saving my model then i am reading my data set using pd.read csv let me quickly show you how that it looks like it has four values and the last value is the class of that flower now these are in string keep in mind so over here i am saying x equals to these first three columns uh, sorry four columns and y equals to last column now our machine learning model usually works on integer data set so we need to convert it to integer as i have shown you it is a uh, in string format so i usually do it using label encoder from sklearn dot preprocessing and fit transform to y this this will gonna uh, convert this to zero and another one to one another one to two and so on then i am using support vector classifier as it's a classification problem kernel equals to linear and fitting that x train and y train and i am saying pickle dot dump and dump this model in the iri dot pkl in the in the right binary form all right so now we are in our main app dot py so we are importing flask and render template and i will talk about request later i am importing pickle to load this model which we have already saved in a moment before and i am importing numpy for creating arrays and that stuff this you already know what is the meaning of this and i have already shown you what this do it says if we are at base then run this home.html which is right here let's see what is inside home.html first what is inside home.html is our four input fields and one submit button and one big form of all these input fields now what happen if i am saying that if i press submit button then use the method post and action equals to url for home what does it mean url for home usually mean that whenever i press submit button you search for this home function inside my app.py and run that function what is happening inside my home function is i am requesting for my a b c d input field values which are this a b c d i am saying access these values and pass these values to data 1 data 2 data 3 and data 4 variables and create an array of these values and send them for prediction and and store that prediction value to this pred variable okay so i have told you uh, what this return mean i am saying return this after dot html let me quickly show you if i pass these values to it and if i press submit button this button then it will going to take me to this function slash predict uh, route and uh, it will going to return this after dot html function and it will going to also send this data to this html let me show you how you can access this data for using the if for such code inside html we we have to create a code block by saying and by saying two curly braces and this percentage sign and in that we pass the statement which want to run like if or for or whatever you want for example over here i am i am using if statement and at the end you need to say and if like or and for whatever you used and inside them we pass our whole code which we want to run 
similarly i am doing it over here i am saying if data is equal is equal zero what is data data which i have my pred variable i am saying if if i am saying if data is equal is equal zero then it is iris setosa and show this image to user as it is iris versicolor and show this image to user now i know i have one more class but i have not defined it over here you can define if you want and i am saying and if and i am saying for getting back to main home page which you could see link over here if i press this i get back to home page by sending a slash href to this anchor tag that is whole code how you can create this machine learning website now you can use bootstrap and css styling or javascript for creating awesome stunning website you can get this whole code in down description github repository make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome machine learning class videos with this said i would like to end this video and i will see you in next video